Hello, everyone, and welcome back to what will probably be our, which is our last pregame, our last pregame video. This is pregame four, and we're going to be talking about the team of adventurers who are going to be taking part on this uh, this Star Frontiers campaign. Um, you know, other players may come, some players may go, who knows how long the campaign's going to last, but these are the original players to the citizens of the campaign, citizens of the frontier campaign. Uh, first off, we have our Yazarian. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar or need a refresher, Yazarians are the, uh, the simian glider monkey race. Uh, they tend to be tall, but they're, you know, they're not as muscular or dense as humans because they can glide. Uh, they have furry manes and uh, excellent night vision, which means that they have uh, problems seeing in, in bright light. So they wear visors. They are uh, warlike, can enter a battle rage, and they're very clannish. And uh, our Yazarian is named... Uh, and I may butcher some of these names, so I apologize to the players. Uh, Thorga uh, Galisa of Clan Kabari. Uh, Kaba, uh, uh, Kabarian? Okay. Uh, they are a spacer pilot, meaning not they, do, they can't fly an aircraft, but they can fly a shuttle or a spacecraft. They have side training in military and linguistics. Uh, he is a proud traditionalist with a strong sense of justice and order and a passionate sports fan. Uh, Sean, this is a gift to me as a GM because every game needs a good, proud paladin type. I'm going to have a lot of fun with you. Our next is our Vrusk. Uh, again, as a refresher, Vrusk are our insect race. The uh, insect centaurs I talked about on our last video, very organized. One of the major races in Solar Miner, so they'll have uh, plenty of other rusks to talk to. Uh, and their name is uh, uh, Joe Friday. Uh, Joe Friday is actually a covert agent with side training in uh, military operations and the arts. Um, <laughs> they are a classically trained dancer. Uh, uh, this character is being played by Matthew McLeod, and I'm sorry if I didn't end mention it. Our Yazarian is name being played by uh, Sean Little. Uh, so back to Joe. Joe is quite eager for her first covert undercover assignment, and uh, hopes for a, a promising career. And all I can tell you is, hey Matt, be careful what you wish for. Um, so yeah, thanks for this one. This I've got a lot I can do with you. Our next character is our Dralocyte. Uh, for those, again, needing a refresher, Dralocytes are the short, very stocky, physically strong race of, uh, that look like one-celled organisms. They're, uh, they don't have a set form. They can make limbs as they wish. Uh, our Dralocyte's name is Larmo Wint played by Joel Jackal. Uh, Larmo has, is, an ex, is a computer expert who dabbles in both martial arts and outright thievery. Um, his sense of humor has, uh, and over-the-top practical jokes has got him in lots of trouble. And joining the military wasn't by choice, but part of a plea deal to keep, keep him out of civic detention. Um, Joel is a... A very old friend of mine and a veteran of many a Call of Cthulhu game. Uh, but this is his first time playing Star Frontiers. So, uh, Joel, welcome to the party. And uh, next we have Harlan the Hammer Wells, a human. I won't bother explaining what humans are. Uh, he is a uh, atmospheric pilot, meaning, you know, helicopters, aircraft, that sort of thing, with specialized training in uh, the outdoor wilderness survival, and he is a soldier by trade. He was a rural farm boy with a promising future as a professional boxer, but he threw that all away when he joined the military, and no one knows exactly why. 
Well, I do because he told me. And uh, Sean T. Yes, we have two Sean's. This is Sean Trader. Not to be confused with Sean Little. And that's not going to be confusing. Oh, no. So Sean T., get ready for a ride. We're going to have so much fun with this. And last, oh, boy, is our Osakar. Um, Osakar are from the far edge of the galaxy. They're not even a frontier race. They're part of the Rim Coalition, um, which means that... Uh, our Osakar is very far from home or her people. She's probably, well, she, they, they don't have a gender. They're single gendered. Um, they have, are probably one of the rarest uh, people you'll find in uh, a backwater like Solar Miner. They are uh, about nine or 10 feet tall, four legs. And, uh, Two tongues, large eyes. Uh, they look like kind of white moving plants. They like to dress very flamboyantly, flamboyantly uh, even though every single member of their race looks exactly like every other member of their race because they're all technically genetically identical. <laughs> very interesting race. Very beautiful language. They have two tongues. I think uh, this character speaks six languages. They're known for that. They just have a tech, uh, knack with language. And their name is Fink Noddle Fish. I, you can't imagine how they spell it, but trust me, I'll, I'll post it one day. Uh, they are known, they know their way around both organic systems as they are a trained physician and inorganic ones as they are a robotic technician as well. So they can fix your robot and put your shoulder back in, you know, in place when it's ripped out of its socket. Uh, this character is going to be pretty interesting in all my years of playing Star Frontiers. I don't think I've ever had an Osakar player, so this will be a lot of fun. The way we're doing our setup is that all of these characters are members of the same civic defense unit, meaning they're all part of the National Guard. They're all um, National Guardsmen. I thought a planet with a with you know military occupation uh, as a recent memory would have rules that everyone of age would receive military training and be ready to defend their homes and their planet at a moment's notice. So I'm implementing that in Solar Miner. So when they were all teenagers, young adults, they were all forcibly. <laughs> trained in uh, as soldiers to be part of a uh, robust national guard uh, in case there were ever there was ever another crisis on Solar Miner, and everyone has have some form of military training, so that's how they all know each other. Um, uh, Fink Noddle Fish is actually. Um, actually lived with uh, Harlan Wells' family for a while as a when they were growing up. So Fink Noddle Fish grew up in Solar Miner from a, a younger age. Um, we the backstory of that is their plan, their family were military and involved in all of the battles in this area, and uh, decided it'd be better if they lived with a family instead of. Uh, you know, went on to fight. Uh, so uh, that is our team. We have a y Yazarian pilot, a Rusk agent, a Dralocyte computer expert, a human soldier with wilderness training, and a Osakar doctor technician. Um, so this is going to be really interesting. Uh, looking forward to uh, playing with this bunch of guys. And also, oh, and again, Fink Noddle is played by uh, James uh, Segru. I'm sorry if I keep forgetting to list everyone's name. Uh, it'll be in the notes on uh, just below here. Uh, I've never played, I've maybe played once or twice with some of these people at cons. Most of these people I've not played with, not that I know. And uh, I'm damn sure that Joel has never played Star Frontiers. 
So they haven't played with each other. So this will be really interesting to see how a group kind of forms from being individuals into a team. You get to see that dynamic grow week after week. Um, and it'll also be exciting uh, to see how their skills progress and what new skills they pick up along the way. Uh, Star Frontier characters start out like D&D characters. It's an old school game. You're very weak and inexperienced at the front end. Um, and in a little bit of time, you do start to pick up all the skills necessary to become total badasses. Uh, but they're not there yet. <laughs> so uh, it'll be fun watching that develop as uh, the weeks and months go by. And that's it. That's our starting team. I hope you're as excited to see them as action in action as I am. We will be rolling out our first game in just under just over 24 hours at 9 p.m. tomorrow. That'll be a uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 9th, 2020. Uh, my name is Oscar Rios. I am the GM for this little bit of adventure. And uh, thank you for tuning in. This will probably be the last, as I said before, this is probably the last pregame video we have before we go live tomorrow. So um, if any of our subscribers, and there are some subscribers, it's amazing. Thank you. Um, have any questions, just post them in the comments below. We'll, we'll try and get to that. And um, hope everyone tunes in for session one tomorrow. And uh, until then, uh, be safe, citizens.